lovelies. So today I have Undercut Bob by Tress Allure in the colour 10R to show you. So first of all, I'm going to take you through the cap construction. So she has this lovely full mono top, which means that you can part the hair wherever you like. She has an extended lace front, which means that you can wear the hair back from your face. She has velvet ear tabs. She has a wefted cap an extended nape and velcro adjusters. Now something to say quickly about this cap is it fits me a lot better than Blaze and Pitch Perfect. It does seem to be that little bit smaller but it still has enough stretch to accommodate larger head sizes so for me that's a win. Okay I'll do a 360 and then I'll take you through the review. So here she is, this is Undercut Bob by Tress Alert in the colour 10R. Now 10R is a beautiful natural light to medium brown colour. The R stands for rooted and on this piece honestly I, I can't see a root so to me she looks the same colour from root to tip but if you do see a root please let me know in the comments below. She does have this beautifully extended lace front and I find the knots on Trezzle are tiny and it's just absolutely beautiful and so well done. One of the best in the industry I would say. Now if you've seen my review of Pitch Perfect you would have seen that I had trouble with these white bits on the ear tabs and this seems to be something now that they've addressed because this piece doesn't have that problem which is fantastic. She has a full mono top so you can part her wherever you like. One problem that I have had with this piece is she is a bit of a face flapper and the reason that she's a bit of a face flapper is because she is longer in the front and shorter in the back so these pieces at the front are much heavier so what I used was a bit of trusty wig wax so what I do is I hold the pieces back and I spray and that just helps to hold the fibres back like so but it's just a problem that you'll have with any piece really that's heavier in the front than the back so a bit of wig wax and no longer a problem she is 10.5 in the front, she is 12.5 from root to tip and she is 5.5 in the back. Now the plus side of it being longer in the front and shorter in the back is there are less friction points. So if you've ever worn a synthetic or heat friendly synthetic piece and you've noticed a lot of frizz at the ends, that is from friction, friction with your clothes mainly. And so having something that's this length reduces those friction points and it means that the fibres will last a lot longer without needing heat. The Trezzler heat friendly fibres though I find last a lot longer than the other brands that I wear. So these can go several wears without needing any heat whatsoever. What I use at home, so I've got a hot airbrush and usually after every single wear I will pop a little bit of heat through them and that takes me less than two minutes and then after every single wash I will use low heat straighteners and I'll just run the straighteners through them on damp fibres. It'll sizzle but that's just the heat hitting the water, it's not the fibres singeing. Anyway I'll pop a couple of videos below that you can click to see how I maintain my heat friendly pieces. Now this piece weighs three ounces apparently. I haven't weighed her but she does seem a lot heavier than my other pieces that are three ounces so I'd be interested to weigh her and see how much she actually weighs. I would say that she is medium to high density. You can get an ear tuck maybe on one side, on the other side not so much and I think it's because these fibres are quite thick and it's not noticeable whilst you're wearing her but I think that is why the fibres last so long between each wear. So medium to high density and it just looks like 
a thick head of hair. My hair was never ever this beautiful and thick, but some people do have it and now we can have it too. So because of that medium to high density, I do like wearing her half up, half down. Because for me, as somebody that had thinner hair, this just feels a lot more manageable when she's half up, half down. She's also long enough that you can pop her into a full ponytail or a little bun. And I also like to wear her with some parts kind of clipped back. And again, as she does have the tendency to kind of be a bit of a face flopper, this is kind of the way that I would wear her if I was wearing her out and about. But yeah, overall, just an absolutely beautiful, natural looking piece. Thank you for watching.